In a desolate corner of Jordan, a search is underway for evidence of a nuclear explosion. It's a simulation to test inspectors' ability to uncover an atomic blast. Inspectors need to find the observables or the signatures of the possible nuclear explosion. Here we are looking uh, for the faults, for the depressions, possible craters, uh, queries, anything which is unusual in such environment. Under the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty, inspectors have maximum 130 days to search an area about the size of Berlin. But this can only happen once the treaty is in force. This exercise is preparing for that day. It's fine-tuning inspectors' visual observation skills and communications. We wanted to make sure that we got a good look at the, the overall uh, potential for this particular area to be suspect in the case of uh, a clandestine uh, nuclear test. Uh, but I think we've determined that the access was very difficult. The roads were steep, rocky, dusty, no evidence of any infrastructure that would be necessary in the sense of utilities, power, uh, water, things that would be uh, something you would think would be necessary to conduct a test. The expertise of the team is as diverse as their backgrounds. They come from 20 countries. Among them are scientists who've worked at nuclear weapons labs, engineers and geologists. The rocks here are carbonate rocks to quite some depth and, and in uh, that type of terrain it's difficult to contain uh, a nuclear explosion because of the emissions of radioactive gases. It seems like searching for a needle in a haystack. But constant backup is provided at a quickly erected but technologically sophisticated base camp in Al Haidita. For any operation to occur in the field, you need a command center for it. So we here at the base of operation, we track all the operation that is going in the field. At any given time, we should be able to know where every inspector is, where every vehicle is, and we need to know what exactly they are doing in the field. SUVs are modified to become giant cell phones. All communication is encrypted and secure lines established with the CTBTO's headquarters in Vienna, Austria. It's the independent body to verify the treaty. It monitors the world for any nuclear blast. 2,000 atomic bombs were detonated before testing screeched to a halt in 1996, the year the treaty opened for signature. But the treaty hasn't entered into force, which means that the door to nuclear testing remains open. And all this can come back to us if we don't close this door once and for all and put this legal instrument firmly in place, erecting a firm barrier to any further nuclear weapons development. It's all cold. I'm already OSI 55. OSI 55, this is Bravo Oscar. I, we can see you on the map on the waypoint 5. It's day four into the simulation. The team trolls the inspection area from the Dead Sea to Karak. They know that this area has plenty of earthquakes. They know that there are many explosions related to scientific purposes. But here they are trying to figure out if there is something hidden there. Also, they want to inspect if all the oil wells that have been declared by the inspected state party are real or not, maybe they have been declaring an oil well, but in fact is a vertical emplacement for a nuclear device. For example, imagine that you want to go yeah, this to uh, the epicenter, yeah. right? And imagine that in order to go here, you need to go through a main road yeah. coming here yeah. uh -huh. and then getting back there. Fresh data comes in from Vienna it better pinpoints the location of the suspicious explosion. Aerial photos reveal sinkholes that the inspectors want checked. The cracks, are they coming before Three. the the fall of the sinkhole or, or are the result of an explosion after? Mm -hmm. yeah. And the same thing with the trees. Two the trees, scenarios. trees can be before that. Before, before that, that but they just, just fell just in and, yes. and rerouted. Yes. Or they can be 
new ones, mm -hmm. and then it means that yeah, this... Yeah. And sinkholes are the phenomena which could be expected after the nuclear test. We find one new, and this is just behind us, and you can see there is no vegetation at the bottom of this sinkhole, and the, the, the border of the sinkholes are steep. So this one formed by our discussion just in time when the event was recorded in our headquarters in Vienna. This is a game scenario to enhance skills and refine techniques. But the subject is frighteningly real. The risks of nuclear explosions remain until the treaty that outlaws them is enforced and inspections permitted to provide the final proof if a country is cheating on its commitments not to test nuclear weapons. Thank you.